How can states protect free speech on college campuses? One option is to change the law. Reform organizations such as the Foundation for Individual Rights in Education, the Goldwater Institute, and the American Legislative Exchange Council have proposed model legislation to protect free speech. The proposals vary in their specifics, and some focus on different areas related to free speech, but they all recognize the need to protect campus free speech at the state level. All three pieces of model legislation would require public colleges and universities to make their campuses open to dissenting viewpoints. That means that, in general, colleges are not permitted to control what can and cannot be said, no matter how unpopular or offensive a certain opinion might be. North Carolina was the first state to adopt free speech legislation. Lawmakers in North Carolina chose to base their bill on the Goldwater model. In 2017, the North Carolina legislature signed the North Carolina Campus Free Speech Act into law. The law contains important provisions that protect campus free speech, which include that campus policies be consistent with First Amendment jurisprudence regarding traditional public forums. This means that campus should be accessible for public and private forums, as well as open to guest speakers invited by students or faculty with reasonable time, place, and manner restrictions. In other words, all speech and expression that is protected by the Constitution should be protected on campus as well. The distribution of literature on campus, such as books and pamphlets, is also protected under the law. The law also states that anyone within the university's jurisdiction who substantially disrupts speech should receive university sanctions. In total, 17 states have passed campus free speech laws, including Arizona, Georgia, Tennessee, and Texas. Legislation, of course, can't solve every problem, but it can help. State laws affirm the importance of the free exchange of ideas and guarantee protection against intimidation or disruption. But the affirmation of free speech shouldn't stop with lawmakers. At the institutional level, colleges and universities can adopt a formal statement in favor of free expression, such as the Chicago Principles, which the Martin Center discussed in a previous video. The Chicago Principles are the gold standard of free speech statements. Other universities, such as the University of Maryland at College Park and Johns Hopkins University, each have their own unique statements outlining their commitments to free and open inquiry. States and universities can work together to ensure that campuses remain vibrant centers of discourse and truth-seeking. If you would like to learn more, please visit us at our website, www.jamesgmartin.center.